Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth chapter of the Ismail cap ca 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 campaign. Can't talk. The Fallen Amir, the chapter is called. Let's go ahead and jump straight in. Hearing the Shah tell of those days, I feel the same wounds puncture my heart once more. Not once has he mentioned my brother's name or his daring feats. If not for my curiosity, I would have silenced this wretched man hours ago. But the details that I crave the most are yet to come. One day, a visitor arrived from the east, seeking aid and shelter. His master was the Timurid leader, Babur, who hoped to reclaim his homeland of Transoxiana from the rapacious Uzbek warlord, Shebani Khan. As Babur and Ismail both were avid lovers of poetry, the Timurid was confident that our Shah would happily answer the call. Yet for all of their similarities, Ismail loathed the thought of being compared to this mortal, as he described This him. guy. In accepting Babur's request for an alliance, Ismail hoped not for an enduring partnership, but an opportunity to supplant the Uzbeks from the historic Persian region of Khorasan, from which they had been launching raids against his new holdings. Khorasan rightfully belonged to the Timurids, but its links to the Silk Road trade made it one of the wealthiest regions in the world. Ancient shahs such as Cyrus and Yazdegerd had thriven off of its riches, and as uprisings became increasingly common throughout Persia, Ismail believed that this territory was the key to protecting his throne. Although they swore to fulfill the shah's wishes, there was an unspoken consensus among the Kizilbash that Ismail was overextending himself. Deep inside, they knew that they were headed for a breaking point. All right. Let's find out. So, capture Merv by defeating Shaibani Khan's army. Kill Shaibani Khan to weaken his army. Okay. Shah Ismail's forces can advance to the Imperial Age and support a population of 150. Although the rivers of Central Asia are teeming with fish, they are not suitable for large war vessels. Babur will train a larger and stronger army, including armored elephants, if he gains control of Samarkand. The Quizilbash in Ismail's ranks will become an, a and separate that's a typo right this should not have an n it should be will become a separate faction typo typo a separate faction once shaibani khan is eliminated if you succeed in conquering herat the quizilbash will make the city their base and become a powerful army establishing trade with babur can be a convenient way to amass gold especially with the help of caravanserais Shah Ismail has arrived in the Khorasan from the west to capture the ancient city of Merv. 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 From the Uzbek Shaibani Khan. Far to the east in Kabul lives Babur, a deposed Timurid ruler at war with the Uzbeks. Babur will mostly train camel riders, armored elephants, and cavalry archers. The mountain pass leading to Babur's Kabul settlement is guarded by the city of Herat. Its garrison consists of crossbowmen, keshiks, and swordsmen. Far to the north of Babur's mountain holdings is his old capital of Samarkand. Its forces will attack Babur with heavy cavalry, rams, cavalry archers, and monks. The main Uzbek army operates out of the city of Gazdawan and its outskirts in the central and western regions of the map. The Uzbeks field staff lancers, hussar, pikemen, kipchak, and siege engines. All of this will be killed by elephants. All right, we have a sizable army right from the start. Bizilbash warrior. They don't have range. So they're not. They're not step lancers. They just look like it. I don't have Ismail as a hero. The lion cub has come to join us. How your provocations once you are groveling at my feet. The trash talk is real in this campaign, I tell ya. 
That was a very convincing fight. Is that the army they're referring to? Or is there more? Which campaign is this? This is Ismail chapter 4. Still drunk with pride after besting those frivolous pony rides. Now you face a professional step war. Okay. He's getting wrecked every fight. He's still trash talking. Ooh. One for my cow arches. Do we want to kill the hero? We want to kill him to weaken his army. Can I just sneak around and work my way towards him? I don't have to fight everything, probably. Oh, no. Should be fine. Chase your feeble friend off from our soil, and we shall do likewise. All right, he's coming. He's getting involved himself. Then we can just kind of target him, probably, and his army will. But it's sad it should get weaker if we kill him. So I'm just gonna go for him. See what happens to the army. He has really good stats to be fair. Damn. That name. Now his demoralized horsemen fight with half the ferocity. I don't see any changes to the stats, although I didn't click them beforehand. I'm not sure what changed, but I realize I don't have a lot of army left. Maybe I've been overly confident in my Engagement so far. They lost upgrades? Okay, okay. Uh, I still feel like maybe I'm losing this. I need to kill this whole army. How much is left? Okay, there's not a lot left. But I don't have a lot left either. So I have to start being a bit careful with how I use these. Cannot be too wasteful. Yeah, plus two attack before I kill him. Okay, okay. Cool. Okay, so far so good. I like that they are coming there by themselves. There's two Hussar there. Four cowards and one two Hussar there. We have enough. No worries. Oh, this is not an enemy castle. I thought I couldn't go close. Oh, yeah, I don't have attack anymore. Ah. Even the cowards don't have attack. Oh, yeah, this is not a threat. Why, um. Finally, I am free of that scourge. Tell me where I'm needed, Ismael. And I shall reinforce you properly. All right. What I found interesting here, I can't tell what. I hope this... you do not take me lightly, Ismael. Given proper provisions, I am no pushover. Given proper provisions, so I have to feed him. All right. Uh... No, I promise that I am not plotting to double cross you. I would never wish that upon anyone after experience. That's always very confidence uh, inducing. Hey, I promise I'm not planning to backstab you. Relax. Okay, okay. Uh, let's add town centers. We can get 150 population. I think two extra town centers is fine. Um, wonder why this guy didn't stay on my side. He went back to red. So Babur must not lose all of his town centers. How many does he have? Here he is. 
They have one. So Babur must not, not lose his town center, should be the statement. They literally only have one. Might build more, fair. What? Elite step lancers? This feels early. And keep check. We have cast the fire to help us. We need some boar. Okay, let's have a look again if anything changed. So the story here is cast to capture the, the city for the Quizlbash. Which is the blue one on the bottom. Kill the Uzbek general to recapture Samarkand for Babur. Which is the... Uh, I'm not sure. Green base right north, I guess. Mark locations on the minimap with flares to tell Babur where to attack. Okay. Where do I want them to attack? What buildings do I even have? I have Market Blacksmith. Stable. I'm not sure why I don't have Ismail as a hero though in this one. I had him in a hero as a hero in every other mission so far. But not in this one for some reason. Is this new campaign? Well, one of the newer campaigns, yes. Depends on how new you are to the game. Here are the three castles. Of the Uzbek. We want us to destroy that. Since they are nearby, I imagine that's going to be our first priority. Let's get some stones so we can prepare for elephants, naturally. Fifteen years old campaign. Not this one. Incoming! Well, they actually would just go there. Actually, I'm just gonna send them on blue. Oh, did I just trick? Okay, I, th I was just gonna test it. <laughs> How long it would keep going. Okay, this should be fine. So he will just send units wherever I'm pinging, that's pretty nice. Where I'm flaring. Get that stone wall. Okay, could be better, could be worse. At least we don't have Mamelukes to deal with this game. So I would say we're in a pretty comfortable spot. This crusade is not attacking the trade route too. Oh, Red is coming here as well. Yeah, this is how to use the army. Everyone hitting a guard tower while you're being killed. All right, uh, we'll do a castle there. There's enough army here to support me right now, I hope. Pull off the castle. We're up to 60 villagers. I would say we add like 20, 30 more. Or well, I can just keep adding and we just delete those once we have enough. They were quizzel bashing it. I see, I see. Ooh, Babur is coming to fight as well. Hopefully he can stay alive. Or that he, we don't lose anything if he doesn't stay alive, rather. 
Maybe I just make cast ledge elephants and try to break them in cast ledge. They don't seem that strong. Now we'll have elephants, so. But Boar is not afraid to fight, indeed. I'll tell you to go home, rather. Because I don't have anything to support this. I guess too few soldiers here. Yeah, because I'm sending them home. I don't have army to help him either. Hopefully he can hold. It's not that scary of an army, right? No way he's going to lose his town center there. Needs our help, man. Charge! What? <laughs> that seems random. Guess I could send some elephants to help, just to be on the safe side. This castle should be... I already have one. Castle should be a great provider of presence here. That blue will continue to waste units, because blue does not have siege. I'm gonna send these elephants up towards orange. Just in case he's a complete fool and cannot hold this by himself. Luckily, Babur is a camel. He might be able to. Take care of that. They're fine. I'm gonna go there anyway, just in case, but they're fine. I like that Quizzle Blash keeps con. Uh, conscripting units to attack. That is nice. Found a lot of gold. I think we try to just break blue in cast ledge. So if I go to imp, uh, it will slow down my production of elephants too much. So I'd rather just try to kill him now. He's holding here fine. Don't know why, what he was complaining about. Make haste and help me parry their assault. Oh, he's even uh, flaring himself. <laughs> ooh, ooh, okay, that's a bit more scary. Maybe I can get over here and build a castle for them. Oh, Babur is gone. Uh, do they have more town centers now? They still only have one town center. That is dangerous. Big dangerous. Okay, we should be able to just work this down. These elephants should help a lot, though. Okay, they have chemistry. So they have full and parallel upgrades, it seems. So in parallel will definitely be needed. I think we'll just do that now. We have initiated the push on blue. And we have enough to help defend. And we'll buy enough stone for a castle. Next to the statue of Kipchak? No. That guy has a spear. I can't tell what he is. Oh, I can tell them where to fight as well now. Uh, 210 to make them be aggressive, 220 to be, make them be defensives. defensive. So we ping or flare to tell Babur where to attack. And we use the taunts for him. I'm going to tell him to be aggress uh, aggressive though. 210. As you wish. And we tell Babur to attack there as well. Oh, I have so many resources. Did I send, send me resources? They must have, right? This castle is probably now too defensive for my liking. Um, let's go ahead and attack. Let's 
since there are no Mamluks, I think we can rely entirely on elephants here. Why do they just go straight for a guard keep? They're, they're so stupid. Ooh, he's setting up trade. Caravanserai, beautiful. Love that. Should I do the same? I'll do a market here. They, they're building Caravanserai everywhere. And they're replacing the castle with their own. <laughs> nice. I did that a long time ago, bro. You're late. I want the castle here as well to lead. So we can reinforce faster. Yeah, we gotta work through the castles and Samarkand. We had to kill the general to give Samarkand to Babur, was it? Kill the Uzbek general to recapture Samarkand for Babur. Let's try that. So so uh, Babur gets more power. Time to go there. And maybe that will make him stronger. Make haste and help me parry their assault. Wait, I got this castle. Ah! When I gave them this city, they gave me the remainder of this city. That makes sense. Okay, okay. Can you sling Babur? I'm sure I could send him resources, but whether he will use them for anything logical is a whole different story. There was extra gold back there as well. All the eco upgrades, all the stable upgrades, every upgrade in the world. I just click there, where do they go? I let them pick the fastest path. And trust me, they're not. If this is what they're making. Okay, they have halberdiers. But like Step Lancers, Kipchuk, a few halberdiers here and there. They're gonna have no chance against. Oh, Babur is back! Good luck, Babur. They will have no chance against our elephants. Unless they just hit and run all the time. Which doesn't look like they're doing, so it's all good. And I believe this army will be enough to take out this hero as well. The Paladin and Cowards also have like a few ledge upgrades. Blacksmith upgrades. Which is not very impressive. Oh, we have to get through there probably. Ooh, rams! They are battering rams, but I respect that. Letting your ally die to a keep. He will respawn. I've been there before. I've had my hero die sometimes. He respawns. I speak from experience. Babur soloing towers, Giga Chat. Yeah, and he died. <laughs> Absolute Chad. Come here. Well, if you want support from Ismail, that's what you're gonna get. And Elephants are so good against buildings now, it's insane. Okay, the general is down. Ooh, they have a big army now. He should have a lot more to work with now. After getting all of this back. All the smokes. You know, it's like, this is on paper such a small part. This is what I was like with these campaigns. It's like, a lot of people probably don't even kill the general. They might just go straight for the castles and win the campaign. But look what, how much effort has been put in to making all of this up here, right? Statue in the pond, surrounding, and the oasis, like the oasis there. I need to put more appreciations on the design, the people that take the effort to create these things. Oh yeah, Babur now has two town centers. True. Okay, they're doing a decent fight there. Of course, my, I don't have that many Elton numbers here. But still. Castle in the face, let's go. Trebs are going for it. Are they just going straight for the castle? Oh, Chad Trebs. They might die, but I like it. No, he got this close just to hit the keep.
Wait, humans have siege round? Did they always have this? I guess they did. Summer Khan City Layout is the same as Genghis Khan Scenario 4. Ah, maybe they copy pasted it from there then. Elephant Steamroll is real. It is real. Well, this is a problem though. I don't have too much. What? Uh, elephants down here? Don't have too much gold. We have a lot to mine though if we wanted to. Don't really need that many lumberjacks. Did anyone else of you play this campaign and only thing you did was make elephants <laughs> like I am? I can't resist, man. You have elephants, you make them. You don't get to play that much in multiplayer, so. Yes, yes. You spam cab watchers? You had elephants, man. Okay, Savar, I respect that as well. Savar is an option. But what about the missions where you couldn't go to Imperial Age? You wouldn't have Savar there. Elephants weren't good when you played this. Oh, see how fast that town goes down. Elephants are always good. You cannot go wrong with elephants. Yes, I need your help. God, we have so many elephants now. We have 54 elephants. Good luck stopping this. We have leveled two of Gazdevan's castles. Soon I will be home at last. I'm just waiting for Babur to backstab me though. I don't trust him whatsoever after what he said earlier. I'm not planning to double cross you. It's just rumors. Can you win a campaign with full militia? Probably could. But he promised, I know. When did anyone ever break a promise before? Nothing beats the disappointment though of uh, Jean Doc when they sent reinforcements in the transport ship. And it was like, was it two militia or something? They yeah, imagine giving him a city just for him to backstab me, right? Not gonna happen. He wouldn't do that. And the elephants just leveling a city is still so satisfying. All right, all right. Cast is almost down. And where is the backstab? Now is our chance to take the city. Maybe not this one. Maybe next mission. What is going on? Oh, wait. Why are you just stalling? Oh wait, I'm the. All this senseless destruction, and for what? To breed more hostility? Our patience has run out. Bro took my elephants. Oh, if only you had foreseen the descent in your ranks, Ismail, we would have prevailed. <laughs> now I am forced to migrate to India, never to see my beloved Transoxiana again. Allah gives and Allah takes. Good riddance. At least Khorasan is mine. Right. Plot twist. Like a lion complacent to its privilege, power can corrupt even the savviest of leaders. Ismail's misadventures in Central Asia made the Kizilbash keenly aware of how power had changed him. Consumed by his tireless vanity, his soft words of wisdom were now replaced by fits of rage. As old tribal feuds began to re-emerge, only the fear of retribution still held their loyalty intact. Questioning Ismail about what happened at Gazdevan, 
He blames his unruly commander for not keeping his subordinates in check. Yet, as much as he denies it by his tongue, his stubborn temper reveals everything to me. Deep inside, I think he knows that Babur surpassed him in many ways. That chronic underdog never took his victories for granted. Even as the Fergana Valley was lost to him forever, he remained steadfast as he crossed the Hindu Kush to start anew. This type of resilience always eluded Ismail, who never accepted that he was capable of making mistakes. Whether or not the Kizilbash were ready to admit it, they secretly wished that he would learn to value this lesson. Then one day, their hopes finally came true, and in the most horrific way possible. Oh boy. Cliffhanger. I wonder what's gonna happen. These didn't have to defeat Crystal Bush and my fifth elephants, true. True, true, true. Oh yeah, they sent us 5,000 resources. Nice. So. That's the Fallen Amir completed. Next mission looks like we're heading towards the Ottomans. And there's gonna be probably some more water play here. Or is this water? No, this is water. I'm stupid. Like the, the darker terrain is the water. There's some ponds here though. Maybe we can fish. Boom. Either way, that was chapter 4. Fallen Amir. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode for Katai. That's totally how you pronounce it.